The Minuteman. Minimally Invasive Spinal Fusion Plate. By Spinal Simplicity. The Minimally Invasive Spinal Fusion Plate is, minimally invasive, used with a lateral approach, intended for use with bone graft fusion material, and hydroxyapatite coated. Indications for the minimally invasive spinal fusion plate procedure are, lumbar spinal stenosis, degenerative disc disease, spondylolisthesis, and trauma, and or tumor. Skin marks are made on the lateral torso that correspond with the edges of the target interspinous process plate, and a small incision is made. A guide wire is inserted through the incision and is directed under fluoroscopy into the interspinous space, aiming as far anterior as possible. A series of blunt dilators are used to create a pathway to the posterior spine. A 20 mm sleeve is then inserted over the dilators and brought into contact with the lateral aspect of the spinous process. The dilators are then removed, with the guide wire left securely in place. Under fluoroscopy, a graduated tap is inserted over the guide wire. Fluoroscopic visualization of the tap sizing holes between the spinous process determines the appropriate implant size. The guide wire is then removed. For Minuteman implantation, Insert the appropriately sized sleeve corresponding to the implant size being used. Ensure the sleeve is brought into contact with the lateral aspect of the spinous process. The appropriate size insertion adapter is selected based on implant size and attached to the distal end of the G3 inserter. Align the etched arrows on each instrument and push the insertion adapter into the G3 inserter until the tabs snap into place. To attach the implant, Expose the tip of the hex shaft by retracting the outer sleeve of the G3 inserter and then rotating counterclockwise. The Minuteman is attached to the G3 inserter by first aligning the stowed wings in the same orientation as the black flats on the G3 inserter hex shaft. It may also be helpful to use the handle as a reference for proper orientation of the implant wings. The implant is then snapped into place. Lock the Minuteman to the G3 inserter by rotating knob one clockwise until the plunger indicator is bottomed out in the right slot of the handle. The outer sleeve is then retracted and turned clockwise to allow the outer sleeve to spring forward and engage with the hex nut of the implant. Bone graft material is then placed within the window of the Minuteman implant and the wings are then closed. The Minuteman is threaded into the interspinous interlaminar space by rotating the G3 inserter clockwise while applying gentle lateral force. Advance the Minuteman until the fixed plate comes in contact with the spinous process laminar junction and the stowed wings are visible on the contralateral side. To deploy the wings, flip the plunger indicator to the left and then rotate the knob one clockwise until the plunger indicator is bottomed out in the left slot. Verify under fluoroscopy that the wings are fully deployed. For fixation, hold the inserter steady and rotate the knob two clockwise turns until the spikes of the wings and fixed plate are embedded in the bone. The amount of applied torque should correspond to the bone quality and age of the patient. Confirm spike placement by using fluoroscopy. To detach from the implant, Rotate knob one counterclockwise until the plunger indicator is bottomed out to the left slot. Gently pull the G3 inserter laterally to disengage the removable body from the implant. The sleeve can then be removed from the patient. Once outside the patient, retract the outer sleeve and then rotate counterclockwise to expose the tip of the inserter. Flip the plunger indicator to the right and then rotate the knob one counterclockwise until the plunger indicator is bottomed out in the right side of the handle. The removable body can now be detached from the G3 inserter by gently pulling on it.